Hi, everybody. This is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week, we're going to uh, continue our look at server. And what we're going to do is finish our look at uh, the various components that go into Open Directory. Now, if you remember in a previous screencast, I showed you how to set up Open Directory and how to set up your own Open Directory master uh, that's related to your host name so that you've got everything set up and ready to go. Uh, and then in the screencast after that, I talked about your users and groups and how to set those up so that those become a part of your local network accounts that are then also included inside your Open Directory master. Well, this week what I want to do is show you how do you bind your Macs to your servers so that they also are a part of this open directory so that you have things networked together so that these network accounts then can show up on uh, your other Macintosh computers that are actually connected then to the open directory so you can log in with those different user credentials. So that's why we're going to do what we're going to do this week. So what I want to do first, though, before we get started is I just want to make sure you have a few things set up right so that your bind process goes well. Uh, one of the things that uh, I find is that people have a hard time getting an authenticated bind uh, because they don't have their settings set up right uh, in the system. Now, I've, I've covered this before, but I just want to show you. If you go into your airport utility, uh, if that's what you've got on your Internet tab, or, again, if you've got a third-party router, you'd set it up in there. And you just want to make sure that you've got your um, DNS server showing your local server as the first address here. Uh, again, you do need a, a secondary address so that uh, outside your network, uh, the addresses and things can be resolved. Uh, but you want to make sure that you've got your um, server right here as uh, as your DNS server so that that way all of the, the binding process will work. Uh, if you don't have that set up properly, then the authenticated bind won't work well for you and you'll have problems. It'll just kind of do a uh, an anonymous bind. So I just want to make sure you have that set up correctly. Uh, let's go back to the server here. So now what I want to do too is just show you in, uh, if you come to System Preferences, you can also check in here, uh, also in the Network tab, just to make sure that you've got everything set up there as well, and that you've got your DNS servers there. You can see I've got uh, this 127.0.0.1, and I've also got my 10.0.1.3. Server sometimes adds this. All this means is look to yourself for DNS, uh, which in essence is the same as this address here. Uh, but you just want to make sure those things are in there at the front as well. If for some reason you don't have that right, uh, you can just come into advanced in here and go to DNS, and then you can make the changes in here by uh, adding or changing the order of your servers in here. Uh, again, just wanted to make sure that you knew about that so that your bind will go uh, go well when you do it with your third-party machine or your outside machine that's not a part of your server. So what I've done is I've got a um, screen share going here of my uh, other computer. And so what we're going to do is actually bind this uh, laptop to my server. So what you want to do is come into System Preferences on your external machine. And you want to go into Users and Groups. And uh, what you're going to need to do is authenticate. So click the lock, and it'll ask you for um, your username and password. I've already done that in this case. And what you want to do is go to Login Options down here. And you'll notice right down here, I've got this network server, uh, network account server area here. You can see that I'm already bound to a server uh, because I've got another one that I've been using. Uh, but most of you will just show a button here that says Join instead of Edit right here. So I'm going to click Edit. And what we're going to do is bind um, this, this computer to my open directory. Now you can see here that I'm already bound to an open directory here, um, but I'm going to bind to another one. So if I click the plus button here, I'll get this drop down. Now if your server is set up properly, when you click this uh, right here, you will see your domain name. You'll see what you have set up there as your server address. If you see something like server.local or something like that, that means you probably don't have the network stuff set up properly like I explained earlier. So you want to go ahead and just select your server when you've got it here. And again, it just says you can uh, enter the address or select it. So we're just going to select it because we're on the same local network. And we're going to say OK. And so what it's going to ask is if we want to um, trust the SSL certificate of our server. And so that's an important piece because if you don't know who the server is, uh, it, they can actually can have access to your computer and can do all kinds of things to it. In this case, since it's myself, that is my server, I am going to trust it, and so you want to do that in order to make the bind happen. And you can see it's getting the server information. 
And now I've got this actual login window right here. Now, if for some reason uh, your server isn't showing up properly, uh, you won't see this login information. It would just be in an anonymous bind, and it would just bind it automatically for you, and you wouldn't be able to log in. Um, but in this case, we want to go ahead and do an authenticated bind uh, to make that work. And you can see down here, it says that the server that uh, we're connected to allows authenticated binding. Um, you can choose to enter a username and password, or you can leave it blank and bind anonymously. In this case, we want to we want to go ahead and bind, uh, you know, authenticated. Uh, so you got your client ID, computer ID here. Again, it says my my MacBook uh, right there. So that's fine. I'm just going to leave that alone. Uh, but when it comes to your username and password, because we're binding to the Open Directory, you want to use the uh, username and password that we set up when you created the Open Directory. So that would be your uh, Directory Administrator login, not the the general login that you have for your server itself. So let me go ahead and put that in. So in my case it's DR admin, and then we'll put in the password. And once I've got that in, just click OK. And you can see it's getting server information, it's binding, it's starting the process, it's adding the server. And you can see in the background here, I've got a little red dot, that means it's actually doing that. It's updating the search path. When everything's good, uh, this will go away and we'll get a green dot there. Uh, it could take a little bit of time, so you want to give yourself the time to do it. Uh, but you can see now I've actually bound to my server. I'm there on my open directory server and everything's good. And that's what I'm looking for is that green dot because that lets me know it is connected and everything's up and running. So I'm just going to say done. And you notice now it changes this down here to say multiple because I'm bound to more than one uh, network account server. Uh, for you, if you're just binding to one, it'll show your actual uh, server name right here. Now, one of the things that gets added when you do that is this little area right here that says allow network users to log in at login window. So it adds the option uh, for you to have network users, any of the users we set up on the server that are network accounts, actually be able to log into your server from this separate machine, not just on the server itself. Uh, I can even set up options here if I want to by saying all network users, or I can just specify only specific network users that I want to allow to log into other machines. So I do have some control on who can log into this particular machine if I wanted to do that. So if I didn't want everybody to do it, maybe I got too many people there, I've got kids, somebody I don't want, I can just specify just maybe two or whoever I want to have happen here. So I'm just going to say done. And so just doing that now, you've bound everything to your server. Let me just uh, put this down. So that kind of completes our uh, picture here for Open Directory and allows you to see how you can bind your machines uh, to the Open Directory. And this will come in handy, especially when we get to Profile Manager and start talking about how to manage uh, various devices as well as users and all of their different settings. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.